hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am going to explain about uh, recently i have attended the interview of uh, senior devops engineer with the uh, one of the product based company uh, paytm so after the screening round uh, i appear for the round one so i applied through the linkedin and uh, then uh, my profile got shortlisted and after the screening round i appear for the round one that was uh, around uh, 60 minutes of discussion so within 60 minutes they ask multiple uh, questions the first question was related to aws architecture like uh, describe the aws architecture in current organization how your arch how your application architecture looks like in current organization what are the component is there and how the traffic flow from uh, top to bottom okay explain me about that so uh, first question was related to that and second question was related to aws only and uh, that was related to ec2 type what are the type of uh, ec2 instances are there and uh, type of ec2 volumes and different between them like gp2 and gp3 we are using and uh, general purpose if you uh, if anyone is asking uh, we are planning to optimize the cost of our evs volume how we can do that so uh, how you can update your uh, uh, gp2 to gp3 and uh, what is the difference between iops and throughput consideration these things they ask and uh, next question was uh, can you please explain me about difference between uh, application load balancer and network load balancer and uh, why a specific load balancer was chosen for this application because when i was explaining the our architecture uh, i mentioned the application load balancer network load balancer and uh, uh, ec2 instances so they started uh, asking the cross questions related to that and uh, obviously in uh, uh, architecture i have mentioned like s3 bucket and route 53 so they come with uh, next questions related to uh, if anyone is facing a course related issues okay cross site scripting uh, so how how you will resolve those kind of issues and uh, uh, what are the types of storage you are using in current organization these questions also they ask and uh, uh, they ask especially related to route 53 what is the private hosted zone and what is the public hosted zone and what is the use of private hosted zone in your uh, environment how you are utilizing the private hosted zone in your environment so i explain those things and then after uh, they come with uh, SSL related th things, how you are making the, um, uh, how you are using the SSL certificates. So I mentioned like uh, we are using uh, ACM. They started up asking the questions like uh, if we are using CDN, where you will create the ACM certificates and how, what are the process are there to authenticate the domain and everything. Okay. So those things I explained. And then they move to the next part was the Kubernetes. So they ask the Kubernetes related questions like pod management, memory, RAM utilization, uh, these kind of questions they ask. Okay, and uh, uh, type of services the uh, the what kind of services you are using load balancer, uh, ingress, cluster IP, node port. What are the difference between it? and what is the purpose of uh, using load balancer and cluster ip okay and uh, how the node port and cluster ip are, are managed okay and how you guys are mon monitoring your kubernetes uh, using the prometheus because uh, i mentioned in my current organization we are uh, monitoring our uh, kubernetes infra with the help of prometheus so he started they asking the how you are monitoring just give the overview so uh, next question was related to like uh, um, Kubernetes manifest file and commands. Write a manifest file for persistent volumes. They give in some scenario 
okay we want to attach one persistent volume to one of our pod how you will write the manifest file for that so i written the manifest file so uh, i was little bit confused about uh, how to write the manifest file because i was not that much confident okay so next question they given uh, some they asked some some basic questions of uh, kubernetes and linux related uh, commands uh, they asked like how you will check the logs of kubernetes uh, pod okay how you will check the more details of your applications what are the things are running okay with the help of linux command in kubernetes okay and uh, obviously uh, if they touch the kubernetes definitely uh, they will uh, they ask the docker related uh, questions how you are creating the docker files docker images and uh, uh, how is my understanding about the docker layers okay when we are creating the docker uh, image we when we are eating the multiple layers of uh, uh, base image so what what is the purpose and how why we are using that and uh, uh, how you are debugging your docker related issues if any issues is coming in your any environment and how you are monitoring your docker docker environment so total around uh, uh, i think 15 to 16 questions was there okay and uh, total duration was around uh, uh, 1 hour okay and uh, and i i i i cleared the first round and uh, uh, let's see when the second round will happen i will try to update the second round uh, interview related questions if you guys want to me to explain the each and every questions answer i will happy to do that please uh, write down in comment box i will i will try to create uh, one more video thank you guys thank you so much